the heartbeat of competition, the drama of the moment. This is NASCAR on Nick Blam Racing. Nick Blam Racing welcomes you to NASCAR Winston Cup Series Racing here in Sunnyside, California, just south of Old Route 66 for today's running of the Napa Auto Parts 500. I'm your commentator and driver of the number 83 MBNA Chevrolet for Team Chaos Racing, Mikey McBlam. And if you thought that we were done hitting top speeds of 200 plus miles per hour, well, you better be ready to hold your breath. Well, what I like about this racetrack, you've got a lot of options. you got a lot of places you can run. Great big wide racetrack. You can go three wide here. You can even get down on the apron here. No out of bounds. So you're going to see cars passing each other down this front straightaway, three or four wide. you got some good lines, different lines into the corner. So it is fast, but it's forgiving, and I like that. 43 of America's best drivers are about to go head-to-head -head in the West. So let's go trackside. And 
rounding out the field is the 143 car. DW, the fans been waiting, and I'll guarantee you I've been waiting for almost eight months to tell you, reach up there and pull those belts tight one more time. All right, Larry. All right. Coming and to the green, ready. coming to the green, it's out. Bucket it, bucket it, bucket it. Let's go race it, boys! California style. Yeehaw! Take her all down in there. First lap is complete as we had some major contact down the back straightaway between myself and the 24 that led the 98 of Mike Brown to lead his first lap of the race and the season as we get into him taking back over the lead. Dale Earnhardt Jr. following us. Mike Brown battling back on the outside. Jr. looked down to the bottom trying to make it three wide for the lead almost. As we're battling side by side with the 98 of Mike Brown. He's been up here fighting we're trying to keep Dale Earnhardt Jr. from keep from going three wide for the lead who is going to lead lap two here at California we do by just a few hundredths of a second Michael Waltrip's also in the picture here Dale Earnhardt Jr. looking really low on the bottom of the racetrack here comes Mike Brown battling back on the outside mm, gotta pick my battles here Michael Waltrip already in, also into the picture. Oh, Junior looked down to the way bottom. I couldn't block that run. I'm going to have to give him that inside lane. We're going to take the outside lane here with Mike Brown. Here comes Michael Waltrip challenging for the third spot. He's not going to get it. Ooh. Junior put a little bit of a block on to try to protect the lead, and he leads lap four, lap three rather, by just a few hundredths of a second. Oh, sliding up the racetrack a little bit. Sorry about that, Junior. We can't, we take the lead back over, but here comes Michael Waltrip. Nothing I can do about that. They get the they get this NOS runoff turn number two. That's what happened between myself and Jonathan Wolf as we came off of turn number two. They get a huge run that we just cannot block whatsoever. So wound up getting into him. We are three wide for the lead, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to lead lap number four? Advantage Dale Jr. by four one hundredths of a second. We're on the outside lane here. Oh, going to try to make it three wide in the middle. Can we make it stick? Couldn't quite get there. We got into Dale Earnhardt Jr. Advantage to Michael Waltrip. Mike Brown's going to look to the inside of Waltrip now. We're going to look to the inside of him. We're going to go three wide for the lead down the back straightaway. This is only lap five, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Here comes Dale Earnhardt Jr. Battling right on back. He looks to the inside. Gets into our left rear a little bit. We're still three wide for the lead. Michael Waltrip up top. Mike Brown in the middle. Us on the bottom. We lead by two one thousandths of a second over Michael Waltrip. Here comes Dale Earnhardt Jr. Trying to make it three wide. We're trying to keep our car on the bottom. Oh, contact with Mike Brown. Can't quite do anything with Dale Earnhardt Jr. He's going to have the advantage. Followed by Jonathan Wolf in the 24. We're going to pin the 24 down on the bottom of the racetrack a little bit. Try not to lose this third, the second spot by too much, but he has the advantage. Here comes Dale Jarrett fighting back on the outside. Not sure where he came from, but look at Rusty Wallace now is in the picture. Here comes Mark Martin, also wants a piece of this. Six laps complete here at Auto Club Speedway. As we take over the second spot once again. Ooh, can't quite get on the gas as much as I would like in the center of the turn. We do tend to shoot up the racetrack. That's what caused me to get into, get into the eight car quite a few times. And there's nothing I can really do about that. We're side by side for the lead here. We managed to pull away from the pack just a little bit. No tires starting to wear on us. Advantage to Dale Earnhardt Jr. We're side drafting him down the front stretch. Nobody has gotten a clear advantage out here 
at California speed. Way, oh, there he goes. Yep. Right, see, like I said, like we, we touched the gas and we just kind of, the car just wants to go straight. And that's unfortunate. Junior keeps his foot in it. 24 is not really sure of where he wants to go. He's not sure if he wants to go with us or if he wants to go with the 8 car. But he's going to have to make the decision quick. It's too late. Rusty Wallace now going to the inside. Ooh, contact with the 8 car once again. Eric, like I said, getting the gas and it just kind of wants to shoot up the racetrack. Rusty Wallace looking really low. Two one thousandths of a second. Barely leading that lap as we go down into turn number one. Junior trying to cover the position from the 24. Oh, the, the two car got into us. He spins off the front bumper of the 24. Rusty Wallace into the wall. No caution. We stay green. Everyone seems to have gathered it back up. That leaves the race between myself and Dale Earnhardt Jr. I'm not sure where Rusty was going there. There was nowhere for him to go. <laughs> There was nowhere for him to go. I'm not sure where he thought he was trying to go, but he almost took quite a few cars with him. Jonathan Wolf manages to hang on to it. He's still in the fourth spot. Mike Brown is in third, and yeah, we just... <laughs> that tight center, man. And there's really nothing I could do about that. Junior Jr. is going to take over the lead again. There's really nothing I can do about the tight center. That's going to be a rear end gear adjustment, and I can't put any more rear end gear into this guy so it'll turn. Because otherwise, I will blow the engine. I've tried. I've pretty much got it, <laughs> got it right on the edge. Miller Hart Jr. is going to lead lap 10. Pit stops are going to be happening shortly. Go into turn number one side by side. Ooh, like I said. <laughs> Just can't get back on the gas like that, but Junior does manage to keep his foot in it. We're not getting into him too hard. But I still would rather not have that problem. But like I said, there's really nothing I could do about it. I can't put any wedge in. Or, sorry, yeah, I can't take any wedge out of it. I can't adjust the tire pressures or anything like that. I just gotta... Oh, man, we're really fighting. <laughs> fighting for the lead here. We lead lap number 11. Just a few hundredths. Pit stops happening already. But like I said, there's nothing I can do to the car to get it to, to really turn like I want it to in the center when we get back on the throttle. So I'm still battling side by side with Dale Jr. here. Into turn number four, three, sorry. And oh, there we go, the tires. There goes the tires. We're trying to keep it off the wall. We're okay. We managed to we managed to keep it off the wall. But that's going to give a big advantage to Dale Earnhardt Jr. That's okay. We're coming down pit road this uh, this next time by here. Dale Jarrett's made his way up into the top five. I don't know where he gets this speed from, man. <laughs> I don't know where the Yates engines get this speed from, but they that that is crazy fast. We also saw Sterling Marlin also up there. But quite a few guys have already come down pit road. It'll be interesting to see where everyone shakes out. We're going to go ahead and come on. Keep it down the bottom. We're going to try to come down pit road this time by. Dale Jr. looks like he's going to stay out. As we're going to try to go down pit road. Be nice and smooth. All right. Not a bad pit road entry. Uh, and like I said, nothing we can really do. We just have to kind of make do with what we got here. Man, <laughs> if that's not the best racing you've ever seen at California Speedway, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. That is some of the most intense racing that I've ever been a part of here at Auto Club Speedway. It's been... <laughs> That was amazing. That almost felt like a, a, it was feeling like a plate race for a very, very long time. But now that pit stops are happening, the cars are going to get spread out. Six, 15, 6 pit stop speed, so that's pretty good. I don't think that was very far off of our projected time. There's Dale Earnhardt Jr. Jr. is going to put us a lap down. Nobody behind us. We're going to go ahead and come up on the track and merge a little bit early. Uh, try to Cheat the system a little bit, get us some more speed. But Junior should be coming down this time by. I believe I saw him move down to the bottom of the racetrack there. 
And yes, Dale Hart Jr. is coming down pit road this time by. We're going to go ahead and get our lap back. So he's going to have the fresher tires out of all of us. And where did Ricky Rudd come from? Where did that 28 car come from? Oh, Dale Jarrett. Dale Jarrett, keep it down on the apron, buddy. <laughs> keep it down on the apron. <laughs> where did Dale Jarrett come? I'm sorry. Where did Ricky Rudd come from? My gosh, I'm pretty sure he started towards the back of the field. He's already up here on the apron. We almost got up into the wall that time. He managed to keep it out of that wall. <laughs> he managed to keep it out of that. He, he, he was one of the lucky ones there. Yeah, some guys pulling some boneheaded moves here. That includes myself. Okay, Junior, Junior, keep it down to the bottom. Keep it down there. Keep it down there. Oh, he's losing it. He manages to keep it steady. Place. Leader, is on pit road. Leader is down pit road this time. Ten laps to go, so actually. we should be inheriting the lead. As soon as we cross the line. Well, not, maybe not as soon as we cross the line. He's a little bit ahead of the line. I think that's Kevin Harvick up there. Yes, that was Kevin Harvick. We have taken over the lead. Oh, boy. How far back is Kevin Harvick going to fall? Oh man, this is not good. Okay, so we're setting up for 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 probably a, uh, quite the battle here because Ricky Rudd is still catching me. He's fallen back quite a bit, but he is still catching me. Lap after lap. I'm trying to be a little bit more conservative here, trying to save my tires so I don't lose them at the very last few laps of the race but he's uh, seven tenths as I I say that as I log my fastest lap of the race but he is now seven tenths behind he is catching us so this looks like it's gonna be shaping up to be a battle caution is out trouble off turn number two Not what I, wanted. I saw that barely in the mirror that was a blue car that looks like he got up into the wall I'm not sure who that was but we'll find out caution is out this is gonna change everything this is gonna change everything as we just log another fast lap of the race here and Mike Brown Mike Brown around off turn number two yeah he just he just lost it off turn number two and couldn't quite couldn't quite gather it back up. Mike Brown running in the top ten all race long. That's not good. We're gonna go ahead and stay out. <sighs> Heartbreak for the 98 as we come to the line. Green flags back in the air. We drop down to second gear. Back up into third. That gave us the run that we needed. Now can we keep this 28? behind us and nope we can't do that see that's the run that the 24 got at the start of the race he just ran up there so fast both of them kind of muscled me up the racetrack there it comes Jimmy Johnson Jimmy Johnson looking for his first victory here at California Speedway now I believe he might have won it in the 2002 season. I'm not 100% sure on that. I got to go back and look. He was way down on the apron there. We get we gathered uh, second place. Now looking for the lead off Dale Earnhardt Jr. Barely led that lap there. Two one thousandths of a second. Lots of close racing. Lots of tight racing here. Ooh, sorry about that, Junior. That was my fault. That I got on the apron that time. And here comes Jimmy Johnson. Wow. <laughs> That looked like he was getting a big push by Ricky Rudd there in the 28. Yeah, Johnson looking for his first first victory here in 2006. Not a surprise to see that 48 up here. We're trying to side draft the 28 to maintain the momentum on him. Junior's trying to look three wide on the outside. Thinks better of it. Falls behind us. Ooh, slight contact with the 28. Can we clear him into turn number one? We do. Can we keep it on the bottom of the racetrack? Can't quite do that. We pull up in front of Junior. Junior gives us the room to pull up. 
We try to crowd the 28 a little bit. He's got no help. Mark Martin is now in the picture. Can we keep it down on the bottom this time? Ooh, we slid up the racetrack a little bit. Oh, Ricky Rod gets it to us. He saves it. No caution. White flag in the air. One to go. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Fighting back on the outside as we take the inside lane. Who's going to have the momentum off turn number two? Advantage Dale Jr. is going to be whoever can stay in the gas longer in turns number three and four. That's probably going to win this race side by side down the back straightaway for the final time into turns number three and four. Ooh, we slapped shot at the racetrack just a little bit. We're still side by side, dead even. We're down on the apron of the racetrack. We come up to crowd them side by side as we come to the line. We're going to hang on and win our first career victory at California Speedway. My God. <laughs> My God. What a race. What a race. <laughs> what a finish. <laughs> Uh, that was all that was all us in the eight car there that was all us in the eight car what it came down to it was just it i knew it was going to be a race between us but the 28 was there for a while the 28 was really there for a while and i thought he was going to have the advantage as he just had this monstrous head of steam and it couldn't really get away from him but he he got into us unfortunately and we weren't able to keep that race clean but the race was clean between myself and Dale Earnhardt Jr. and like I said it was going to be the person who managed to stay in the gas for longer off turn number four and it happened to be us and that is our Sunoco race winning moment. than that, don't we? Well, I'd say the fans would probably have liked to seen more excitement. I'm sure the drivers, on the other hand, were happy about the low number of caution flags. The MBNA car really did a fantastic job keeping his car away from trouble all race long. And that'll be a relief on the old wallet, too. Cost big money to keep these NASCAR Winston Cup cars in tip-top shape week in and week out. When you don't damage them on race day, help save a lot of time and a lot of money. Well, that's all the time we have today. Join us again for our next live broadcast of NASCAR Winston Cup Racing right here on the voice of NASCAR, MRN. All right, guys, so here are the race results for the Napa Auto Parts 500 here at California, a.k.a. Auto Club Speedway. What a race. <laughs> what a race. We win our first ever victory at California? I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. First career victory at California. A whole lot of firsts happened in this season. A whole lot of firsts happened in this season. Man, I, I, DW was right. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> All right, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, my gosh, what a hard-fought battle between me, myself and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Dale Earnhardt Jr. comes in second. Ricky Rudd's in third. Dale Jarrett in fourth after starting 11th. Mind you, Ricky Rudd started 34th. That's ridiculous. Uh, Mark Martin is uh, rounds out the top five. Uh, sixth is Jonathan Wolf. Seventh is Sterling Marlin. Eighth is Ryan Newman. Ninth is Amy Hicks. She made her way up to the top ten. All right. I figured she would. I figured she would. And rounding out the top ten is the 99 of Jeff Burton. And here is the rest of the field. Pick up, okay, Jimmy Johnson finished 11th after starting 26th. Okay. Uh, she and uh, Amy Hicks. Uh, sorry, she. Uh, he and Amy Hicks started on the same row. So um, I was wondering when they would actually work their way back up here. But anyway. Uh, here's the rest of the field. You can pick out your favorite old school driver. Winner's purse for $195,000. I'll take all of that. One caution for two laps, usually three, so that's interesting. Uh, 14 lead changes. 
<laughs> what a race. Uh, time of race, 2212. Average speed of 135 miles per hour. And the margin of victory, 7 one hundredths of a second. My gosh. What a race. <laughs> what a race. What a battle to the finish. Uh, Bobby Labonte uh, went out on the race on lap 16 uh, with a blown engine. And everyone finished on the lead lap. Uh, other than Bobby Labonte, so Cheryl King was the last car finishing on the lead lap. Everyone pretty much kept pace and finished on the lead lap. It's been an interesting, uh, quite a few uh, few races here where everyone's really kind of held pace and we're, uh, you see more cars finishing on the lead lap. So anyway, moving on. All right, so here are the point standings after California. We have extended our lead to now 150 points over Jonathan Wolf. He's not he's not letting us get too far. Just putting that out there. He's not letting us get too far. He's been running really strong and really well here lately. Uh, Dale Jarrett is in third, 173 points back. Fourth is Mark Martin, 215 points back. Fifth is Sterling Marlin, 229 points back. Sixth, Dale Earnhardt Jr. after his race today. He's moved up a couple spots. I think he was eighth uh, last week. Seventh is Tony Stewart. Eighth is Ricky Rudd. Ninth is Kevin Harvick. And rounding out the top ten is Jimmy Johnson, with 378 points back. Where is Mike Brown? So he... Didn't have that. I need to see. I need to go back and look at see what position he finished in. Uh, but he's dropped back quite a bit. So he was 13th, I believe, and now he's 15th after his spin at uh, at Auto Club today. So unfortunate for Mike Brown. Um, he had a really really strong start and seems to be kind of tapering and falling off here. Anyway, um, let's go to the awards for the week. Whole award take all of that money and the front runner I'll take all of that money <laughs> all charged up obviously goes to Ricky Rudd dude started way in the back and somehow charged his way all the way up I don't know if he just didn't take tires or what <laughs> but he somehow made that work fastest lap of the race goes to Dale Earnhardt Jr. I'm not even I'm, I'm there's no way I'm contesting that there's no way I'm contesting that. Winston Kelly is the rookie of the race and the most exciting pass of the race goes to Johnny Benson I'd say no. I would say probably that would either go to myself, Ricky Rudd, or Dale Earnhardt Jr. <laughs> I, 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 I would, I would, I, would I, sh I, I, I hesitate to give this award to Johnny Pence. But, you know, good for Johnny. Good for Johnny. He got one for him. All right. Rookie of the Year is now being led by Linda Latiuk. Okay. Winston Kelly is in second. Wallach has dropped back to third. We got an interesting rookie of the race battle going on here, guys. So I don't think Wallach was in this race. Um, I may have to, I'm gonna have to go back and look at the starting lineup. I'll catch all of that in editing, but I don't think he was in this race. But yeah, he's dropped back to third. Linda's up in here in, in, in first now, so that's interesting. We got us a great Dusty's Boogie Rookie of the Year battle going on. So I hope this I hope this continues. I hope this continues. Nine poles on the season. I mean, we're just we're just killing it. No changes to the jackpot five. Chevy has now extended the lead over Ford. We are now 20 points ahead with 82 points. Ford is in second with 62. Uh, Dodge is in third with 41. Pontiac bringing up the rear with 35 points. And the lap champion, we're just going to keep on extending that. We're just going to keep on extending that. 111 laps led on the season. Uh, Mark Martin is in second with 34 laps led. Uh, Steve Park with 26. His teammate, Got some laps led today. He's moved up to fourth with 25, and Jonathan Wolf is in rounding out the top five with 21 laps led on the season. What a race! <laughs> what a race! I don't know what the field was on, and I knew this would happen too. I'm like, man, I'm like a second faster than everybody in qualifying. What's going to happen during the race? And I was still able to kind of maintain that pace, mind you. I was still kind of maintaining that 27, 5, 27, 6, 27, 7. Um, yeah, so like, wait, did I, did I say that correctly? It should be 27, 6, 20. I hope I said that correctly. I meant to have 27 in front of all of those numbers. <laughs> but I was kind of like maintaining that, that kind of pace, 27, 7, around there. So I was maintaining that pace. Everyone was just fast. And it was fun. And it, this is one of those things like where I'm glad that 
Uh, I'm glad that Auto Club is so wide. Uh, California Speedway, uh, whatever. But you know, I'm, I'm glad it's so wide. It, 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 you can have racing like this there. You can have racing like this. I don't think we've ever had a race quite like this. This was this was uh, this was dang near a plate race. The way like things were getting shuffled and jockeying and stuff like that. I mean, I clearly. Dale Jr. and I clearly had the fastest cars out there, but we just couldn't get away from people. That that was the thing. Like even it, it took a while, but even when like we would kind of start pulling away, they would just kind of pull us right back. And I had a I had a tight center problem. I really did. I had a tight center problem that I was battling the whole race, and there was nothing I could do about, about that. The only thing I could do to adjust that is to add some more rear end gear into it. And that, Rear, rear end gear into it that helps me turn a little bit more when I start when I get on the gas, and when I get on the gas, obviously I shoot up the racetrack. So that would there's nothing I could do about that because adding more rear end gear would have allowed would have just made me redline a whole lot sooner and I'd blow my engine. I trust me, I tried this numerous times in practice, and every time it was just like I was just blowing my engine, so I had to lower my rear end gear down. That that kind of fostered the tight center because as soon as I get on the as soon as I would just it, it just touch the throttle it was shooting up the racetrack and wanted to go straight um, but th the damage wasn't too bad the damage wasn't too bad the everybody that that I got into was still able to maintain speed uh, had a few run-ins on the bottom there because you know obviously it would just grip up over time you know grip up as soon as like okay that was the tight center then it grips up and then it starts turning and then you know the AI they get that nitrous run to the inside and so what happened to Rusty Wallace he just he just he clobbered me and then wrecked himself but I uh, had some guys making some mistakes today unfortunately for Mike Brown he uh, didn't have the wall save him <laughs> this time unlike uh, say Ricky Rudd or uh, Rusty Wallace you know they didn't have the wall save him when they when they tried to do um, tried to really try to dive it in there but what a race man that was fun that was fun. I I cannot express to you how much fun that was. And honestly, if I didn't win, I still would be saying like, man, this was this was just fun. I mean, we were four, we were almost four wide at times, just like everyone trying to go for a position. I was trying not to let people go four wide because I knew that would be really bad. We were leaning on each other and you know pushing each other, and it was just. It was fun, all to a maximum of 205 miles per hour, just about. That that's insane. That's insane. Like, if you don't think if you don't think race car drivers are crazy, I mean, <laughs> I mean, we love them for what they do, but they they're crazy. They're crazy. <laughs> they're crazy. Obviously, this is a video game, so they're a little more a little more crazier than, than normal. But man, what a race! It was fun. It was fun. I hope you enjoyed it because I sure as heck enjoyed this race. But if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Leave a like on the video. Comment that hypeness down below. Comment hashtag first time because this is our first career win at California. I won. I had to think about it for a little bit, but I did. I remember a few times winning in season mode, and I remember winning a um, a race, you know, amongst friends when uh, when I when I played this. So comment first time. Hashtag first time in the comment section down below. It's always appreciated. Uh, and be sure, if you're new, to subscribe because I do these these races every weekend following the NASCAR Cup Series. So be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you at Richmond.